Hello everyone, my name is Nurka Bayra and today we're talking about PISA. So what is PISA? Um, why is it important? <clears throat> what does PISA do? How can countries choose to participate in it? What are the subjects covered within PISA? And finally we'll be looking at a reading test sample. So let's begin by discovering what PISA stands for. So PISA is the OECD's uh, program for international student assessment. The OECD is the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. It is an international organization that works to build better policies for better lives. Okay, so the test is designed by educational experts from all over the world. And it tests whether students can apply what they learn at school in the real world. It covers subjects such as um, science, reading, um, mathematics, collaborative problem uh, solving, or financial literacy. So if a country wants to join in taking PISA, it has to volunteer to, to do that. Once it is chosen, certain schools will be selected to uh, take the test. And the schools will represent the 15-year-old uh, population nationwide. More than that, not all of the students within a selected school get to participate so only a few uh, randomly chosen 15 year olds will participate within uh, a school in PISA students will be asked to interpret uh, interpret text solve mathematical equations uh, or explain a phenomenon in a scientific way so mostly they'll be needing their knowledge and reasoning skills I've placed before us uh, Bloom's taxonomy just to get a better idea of where knowledge and reasoning stand within uh, the taxonomy. Now, knowledge by itself is not that high um, in level, but uh, reasoning is quite um, advanced. So uh, students need to have a strong base with reasoning skills in order to perform better uh, on PISA. Once the tests are done, students won't be given in individual reports. However, the test scores will uh, move toward a national mean score. We need to remember that PISA is not a test to rank countries. It's about showing whether school systems are becoming more or less effective in preparing their students for fur uh, further studies or for work, in other words, for life later on. The following image represents uh, PISA 2018 worldwide ranking. And uh, by the way, uh, the 2018 PISA test was the last test that uh, the UAE participated in and uh, the next tax, uh, test will be in 2021 and it's part of the UAE 2021 vision to rank, rank among the top 20 countries. Um, so the results here show you that the UAE ranks below 450 and the scores range from above 500 between 450 and 500 and below 450. So there's a lot of work to be done. So how often is PISA tested and what else could it be used for? For the first question, PISA is tested every three years. That's why the last test was uh, in 2018 and the next one is this year, but later on. The data collected from PISA is put together into a picture of what the most effective educational system looks like. 
where all students get the best opportunities to learn and the greatest support to achieve their best potential. Now, the greater goal is to make the uh, educational system truly more inclusive school systems. So let's check a reading test sample and see what, what kind of questions can our students uh, expect. Now before we do that, it's important to realize that the test, the genres of text that, uh, that students could face on PISA are, you could say, all of the genres. Um, so students need to be trained in uh, all of them, get as much exposure as possible, and uh, the skills mostly looked for are analysis, interpretation, reasoning, as we already said, basically being able to deconstruct what's being read to understand it on a deeper level. So I'm going to randomly choose a sample. We have two parts that we can choose from interactive reading test questions and interactive global competence uh, test questions. So let's go with uh, global competence test questions. I'm going to choose ethical clothing. Okay, so another uh, point to keep in mind is that the text could be uh, texts which were joined together randomly, parts of the same topic, but they were uh, different sources were used uh, to build up the text. Uh, they could be, as we said, from all over the genre spectrum fiction, nonfiction, poetry, plays, um, narratives, anything you could think of, the student could face as a reading uh, question. So uh, let's look at an example question here. The table below lists possible consequences of the fast fashion trend. Would the possible consequences listed below go against one or more of the principles of ethical clothing production? Click on either yes or no for each possible consequence. Now you might think uh, yes or no, it's going to be simple. But if we look at the examples after having read the text, it needs uh, analysis skills. So they need to look at the example, more cl clothing ends up in landfills. Um, they go over the text and they need to find whether it's directly stated or they need to infer it. And here's where inference also is another skill that we need to strengthen uh, to make sure that students will be able to answer any type of question uh, that they face. Let's check other questions out. The cool thing here in the test sample is that they show you a breakdown of um, the processes that are tested within the question. So cognitive pr uh, process, uh, evaluate actions and consequences, also take note of Bloom's taxonomy, evaluation is high in Bloom's tax uh, taxonomy. Cognitive sub-processes, uh, assessing consequences and implications, assessing also is high uh, in Bloom's taxonomy. And then they give you the format of the answer that the student is required to give and the difficulty level. So that's 615 level four. All right, let's check out a different question. Describe one positive consequence and one negative consequence. So they could go back to the text, extract positive consequence and describe it in their own words. So again, copy paste isn't something um, that's gonna be good. All right, let's look at a different text uh, test sample. Let's check reading fluency. So in this test, you will read some sentences and decide if they make sense or not. 
click yes if the sentence makes sense click no if the sentence does not make sense the next sentence will appear as soon as you respond let's check out the next sentence all right please read the examples uh, the correct answers are highlighted then click on next arrow to try some practice sentences the red car had a flat tire so yes they show you a sample questions answered correctly six birds flew over the trees let's see yes the window sang the long uh, the song the window sang the song loudly i almost pressed yes no the man drove the car to the store yep. you have completed uh yeah you you will have three minutes to read and respond to as many sentences as you can okay so basically you have a better idea of what to expect uh on the reading test uh for pisa i hope this uh, video gave you the answers uh, you wanted for the questions you had and uh, thank you for joining me